sleeper, and I spent one in the country, and I was playing a street form in London, I'm put self-employed, and I'm off the benefits two and a half years on my own. Get to the point, Gary. Okay. Corporations. Corporations actually own organisations. And you use the word corporations. Not owned by stakeholders, they're owned by shareholders, and we're stakeholders. Regulation. You're talking about fitness and proper. We're a good business plan, it should be realistic and achievable. I haven't seen enough of that there for me. Financial freedom, what does that mean? Open wallet, open purse, spend it first, explain it afterwards. <laughs> Staff feedback, whistleblowers, I know all about the Cameron Law, I've had experience of it. I've got it from him personally in a letter from Ted Downing Street because I can contact him any time I like, so I'm a whistleblower. 16 age limit, why shouldn't there be a youth group and they can have a champion governor? Why should the kids be left out? Because they're gonna come up through the system. That's important, you leave them out, they're excluded again, they go out on the streets. Patient constituency, carers. Okay, carers can't be members, but they should be proxy members for their clients to make sure the client's interests are properly looked after. They should be the proxy voter. Clinical or non-clinical style constituencies? No. Communication gap. You did with two different kinds of people through a patient. You get sent here, you get sent there. Doesn't work. Liaison. Council of Governors? Okay. Why does Greater London Public have to have a say in our NHS Trust? I'm not saying they shouldn't, I'm saying why? I need an explanation, please. I've nearly finished, by the way, I apologise. And... You carry on, love. Okay, thank you. Elections carried out by a third party. Who's the third party? Every time I've been to an election, it's been some bunch put in, and uh, they put the segment it up. So you can only stand for one post, you can't be just a governor, you've got to be the governor for this and that. I was elected to the link to represent the whole of Westminster citizens. 46% of the vote against three other people. They trusted me, they said, we want you to work for us. We ought to get things done. We know you explain, as I'm doing now, into an own language. I got bullied out. Five metres it took before they even elected a chair. And the chair was somebody I knew off the streets who'd been three months out of a rehab and was fixed. And they came to a meeting and accused me without any proof of stuff. And my MP said, get out, Gary, and wait for a better chance. Well, it's a better chance, because I fancy being a governor, quite frankly. Uh, ballot of meeting. We don't want post and ballot. We want a nice meeting where everybody can see what's said. And the votes are counted in front of us. Yeah. Yes. Both directors and patients. Yeah. None of this yes. postal rubbish. We've had all that, all of us. Uh, directors. Okay, the NEDs are appointed. Say sorry there, that's clear. Uh, what about the executive directors? They don't tell me whether they're appointed or not. It doesn't actually say that word in there. Why not? I mean, it's, it's clear on the other stuff, apparently, when you say, are they appointed or not? The answer is yes, I know that. And who else are they working? Bear point, sir. Thank you for your uh, interruption. Yeah, got interruption me clearly. And what about executive directors? You didn't say about them. We need openness and transparency. All too often, these organisations, whoever the patients are, we still end up wading through loads of paper, loads of meetings, loads of this, loads of that. You've asked all these people to speak from the floor while you stand up there. When well, I ask to join you and be your equal, no, <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. Protect the elderly. My final point is the patients should not be put first. The patient should be first. Thank you. Hear, hear. Yes. Hear, hear. Thank you. Thank you.